Y'all are great. Thank you. I reckon this next song is sort of our theme song. I'm going to tell you the truth and tell you that our feet haven't touched the ground since we got a couple of those good-looking things at the CMA. <laughs> Believe me, if we can make our dream come true, each and every one of y'all can too. Two things, trust in the Lord and just say, why not me? The song of the year is Why Not Me. As usual, I didn't figure out anything to say, but this is going to be easy. I met this man three years ago when I was a registered nurse in a small hospital in uh, Franklin, Tennessee, and his daughter was in a car accident. I thought they were the most wonderful Christian family I'd ever met. So Brent, along with Harlan Howard and Sonny Throckmorton, wrote Why Not Me for us, and without these guys, we'd be no we wouldn't be here. So thanks to You Brent. couldn't have given it to three nice people, let me Amen. tell you. <laughs> We're going to present the award for Single of the Year. And the nominees are... Baby's got her blue jeans on, Mel McDaniel. <laughs> Country boy, Ricky Skaggs. <laughs> Does Fort Worth ever cross your mind, George Strait? Hi, women, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and Chris Christopherson. Why not me, the judge? Who's the winner? And the winner is... Why not me, the judge? <laughs> I don't think I've ever said or talked about the fact that being 21, most kids my age are going to college and maybe not fulfilling their dreams, but I have given the, been given the opportunity to fulfill every dream I've ever had, and if it wasn't for Mama here supporting me in my music, we both wouldn't be here. I want to thank all the people that have listened to us and supported us in the last two years. We've learned more in the last two years about country music. God bless you all for voting for us. sleep a wink last night. We have flossed, shaved, gargled. <laughs> I never want to look in a mirror again as long as I live. We got here and to tell you the truth, went on a crying jag and we're not going to do the show tonight. <laughs> I'm serious. And then Winona said when we got here, there were two things that we had to come for. One was our music because we're just playing eat up with our music. And number two is our fans. Too many people said they'd be rooting for us tonight. We knew we had to get it here and we had to do this. We had this incredible dream that someday we could sing country music. And I want to tell y'all, if we can make our dream come true, each and every one of y'all can too. Just say, why not me? Yeah. <laughs> great sense of humor, got us, and he called Winona the, the juvenile, and me read. So he and Brent um, wrote, Why Not Me, and it even says in there, it's so um, custom made for us, it even says, your Kentucky girl has been waiting patiently, why not me? That song became our anthem, actually. Why Not Me was, my mom would say, you know, we wake up every day and we just look up and say, why not me? I'll never forget her saying that because we were America's sweethearts in a sense because everyone wanted us to make it. We were mother-daughter. They knew our story and they knew that we had nothing and they wanted to see us make it. We were the underdog. And Why Not Me became our anthem. <laughs> 